All right, welcome to my March 13th live item shop review video. So does anyone ever notice that their item shops are differently laid out sometimes? So I was just on my PS5 and this was not at the top of the item shop, but here on my PS4, it is. What the heck? Well, regardless, this is the Lego kit stuff that was here a few days in a row now. We got the Der Burger and the Beachside Boulevard. Signature style section has Guild, Hayseed, Headbanger, and the brand new Yesterday Emote AFK. So most of these are repetitive except for this one. And then the Wrestler Bundle returns. This is Dynamo and Masked Fury. I love the Libre Glider. Pretty sweet. These skins are actually pretty solid. And we got the Far Out Vibes skins. So these are pretty customizable. You can see what I did here. It's only the top part that you can customize, though. The pants will always remain the same. So pretty much you can alter the tie-dye, and that's about it. Same thing for the Far Out Vibes pickaxe. There's the one I made. Nice orange and black and white. Now look at this. I thought these were coming out tomorrow, and yet here they are in the item shop tonight. So that's a pleasant surprise, the Radiant Moon Bundle. So I did do a full gameplay and review on these this morning. I was actually really blown away by how good they were. If I could only recommend one, I would say Anwar for sure. He's my favorite. Sadly though, there's no pickaxes, but they're quite easy to make combos with, especially given the nice purple and black color scheme. The female skin has a lot more jet black, especially from your perspective here. And their Lego skins are just okay, as you can see right there. Back blings are solid as well. Like I said, I did do a full gameplay review on all the styles, on all the combos. Great skins all around for Lantern Fest. Lady Gaga stuff still here. Jam tracks, we get new ones tomorrow, including Juice World. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Nothing new tonight, though. However, we got a new tab here. Rock out with Fender. So we've got the Fender guitar, the Stratocaster. Looks pretty plain to me. You can make it red or blue, and then the default is black. And then the Fender Precision Bass, where the same thing. This one's yellow, black, and teal. Now, more importantly, we've got two new emotes which demonstrate your guitar. So finally, we can showcase these in Battle Royale. We got the Windmill Stomp. This is pretty sweet. So whatever guitar you have equipped, it's going to show in Battle Royale. So that's finally a use for instruments outside of festival. Not bad there. How about Kick It? So they're pretty cheap too, 200. That's not bad at all. You know what I'd like to see? The dance moves from Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future where Marty McFly gets on stage and sings Johnny Be Good. And look at this, the Invincible collab is back. Omni-Man and Invincible plus Adam Eve. I did do a full gameplay and review on these when they first came out. Pretty sweet collaboration. I still have to watch that. And then the gear bundle as well, including the fastest fastball. I love this one. Throws it around the entire world. And then we got the Start Your Engines with the Dominus GT bundle with the wheels and the boosts. And then all the special offers from yesterday. There's also a PlayStation Celebration Pack, which I did a full gameplay review on this morning as well. Pretty solid item shop, though. And like I said, pleasantly surprised that the Lantern Fest skins are here a day early. I'll take it. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.